Skateboarding has been pretty fucking weird lately. I felt like, man, maybe there's something that I can do to give back to skateboarding. It's a message or something that I could give back. I started thinking about this concept. It kind of manifested on its own. Like all my life, I've been told what I couldn't and couldn't do. From skateboarding to being at a shitty Catholic school for 10 years, like people telling you, no, don't do this, do this. And then teachers and whatever, and even my parents, you know, I care. We, you know, we love each other, my parents and stuff like that, but they didn't understand why I, lo I love skating and what it meant to me. The way I, I, I got to where I am now is I did the opposite. I said, you know, when they say no, it just means yes. I would take that negative and I would just turn it into a positive thing. Like, oh, they don't believe in me. Oh, well, I'm going to use that for fuel and I'm going to show them what's up. And then, I, and then I translated that with skating. You know, even when I was filming for video part, that shit ain't possible, man. Maybe you should do this. And I'd be like, nah, man. Oh, you don't think it's possible? You know, and I've seen a lot of people fall down from that. I did the complete opposite and I fueled myself with that. Like I learned to like enjoy when people would tell me I couldn't do something. I figured out how to use the computer a little bit. I started working on some graphics. Started with a, started with a pen and paper and then I moved it to a computer and then I was able to mess with some, some ideas. And then next thing I know, I have the image. And I knew what it meant to me. It was a snake shake. But I just didn't know what to call it. Dude, the snake shake, dude, that's like, I've dealt with that all my life. Like I said, teachers and people that I worked for, bosses, you know? And they would give me that shake. Like I would tell them, I'm gonna get the fuck out of this place and I'm gonna be something, you know? No, man, you would be great. You should be, uh, you should manage JC Penney's because I actually worked at JC Penney's and I was working my ass off. And they're like, I see a future for you. Hey, JC Penney's, man, you know, whatever. And I, just, I was like, uh uh, nah. And so I kept skating and, you know, went through many different jobs. One night, Four in the morning, I drove from LA to Sacramento. I was kind of falling asleep and my radio was broken at the time and all I had was the AM radio. And so I was changing channels, struggling to find something that would keep me up. Out of nowhere, this, I think it was some crazy religious Christian radio, I don't know. I happened to change it and this guy, first thing he says, he says, these doomsayers, they try to tell you what you can and can't do. They try to claim the end of the world and it's up to you to take what they give you and do something right about it. And I was like, holy shit. So doomsayers was it. With Independent, one of the things I wanna do is, is, is do things with the people that were there for me, you know, that never kicked me off when I got hurt, that were there supporting me, that believed in me. What it means and the name, the product, the performance, all that stuff, it, it was the best. But I never said anything. I never said anything because I was too afraid. So then I started talking to the guys, you know, Keith hit me up and, and Mark, and they're like, dude, let's do this thing. And I couldn't believe it. Before I knew it, I was like, oh my God, this shit is happening right now. So when we started, I told them I would love to have the snake shake in, inside the crest. It's like basically made for it. The most important thing was the truck and the truck, you know, we went, we, we started talking about maybe doing colors and stuff like that. I wanted it clean and I wanted it raw looking like the classic truck, you know, nothing on it except for the logo. Kingpin is all black and the bushing is, is yellow. It looks really good. I'm so psyched. I love knives. Like it's like the best tool ever. You can use it for everything, cutting boxes or Grip tape, number one, that was a thing. Cutting ropes or shoelaces. The snake shake on the blade, and then on the handle it says independent, and then doomsayers. The white t-shirt and the black t-shirt has the doomsayers ghost writing. A bandana, put them in your back pocket, you know, wrap your knife in it, your bearings, or... And the hat was cool too, because, you know, I wanted a cool looking hat. The patch on there. I love the sweater, it's just real simple, but the back's got the, the emblem on it. We also added the pin, because I always loved pins. Because I've always liked the idea of, you know, having like, you know, clubs and like member pins and stuff like that. So that, that's one of a kind. If the end of the world came, I would have my pocket knife, my bandana, just in case I, you know, get a gash or something, you know, and then, uh, or you need to tie it up and hide your identity. And then, you know, stay warm with a sweater and have a cool looking shirt. So that's how it worked out. <laughs> I want their, them to be inspired. That's our main goal is for them to be like, fuck yeah, I know what this means. My hopes are, are that they get inspired to go do what they, they're about to do or, or have a good day skating or, you know, be inspired.